Hey everybody, welcome back. Today we're gonna to be talking about viewing, cutting, and moving strips. So I've already uh, imported Tears of Steel into the sequencer view down here, and it has broken it up into the video strip on channel two and the audio strip on channel one. The first thing that I typically do when I import is I first hold my cursor over the sequencer view and I hit my home button to zoom out and when you hit the home button that zooms out to show you the totality of all of the strips that have been imported into the video sequencer and we can use our mouse wheel uh, and hover our cursor over the sequencer view to scroll up and down but what i want to do is set the end frame to be at the end of the final uh, frame of the strip so the easiest way to do that is to hold your cursor over the sequencer and hit your page up button on your keyboard. Now page up and page down will jump between beginnings and endings of strips. So the fastest way to set our end frame is to simply use the page up button to go to the final frame of our video and press the shortcut for setting the end frame, which is control end. So uh, we now have our uh, frame range set to encapsulate the entire video. This makes it easier for us to do edits and um, hit the play button. Now the thing is that when we hit play down here or we hit the space bar with our mouse cursor over the sequencer, it will play from the start frame until the end frame. And so if we don't encapsulate our entire video, when we start doing editing, it will start over at one as soon as it hits a lower end frame. So if this was set to a thousand and I hit play, it would go to a thousand and start over and play again, even though I would want to be doing some playback over past the thousandth frame. That's why I do that. So um, let me show you how we actually cut. And cutting uh, requires that you select. So there's a, a variety of ways that we can select. We can use our left mouse button and click on a strip. Uh, if you want to uh, add to your selection, you can use your shift button and uh, click the left uh, mouse button, and this will add. Uh, you can also draw a box over it by left clicking on the uh, sequencer background and drawing a box, and that will, uh, that will select anything that we highlight with the box. Uh, other things that you can do, if you want to select everything, you can hold your mouse over the sequencer and toggle your A key, and the A key uh, will select all. That works pretty much in all parts of Blender. So. Uh, I want to make my first cut and I want to cut the audio and the video so I'm going to select all using my A key and I'm going to place my uh, playhead at the location of the frame that I want to cut at and we have a few ways that we can cut we can go up to the strip menu and we can select the two cut options that we have here and, you, and notice that they have shortcut keys K and shift K and the two methods of cutting are a standard cut or cut and a hold cut. Now, if you uh, right click on the sequencer, you can get the context menu and it will have the option to cut in this context menu. Uh, so we can we can cut with that as well. Um, I pretty much do all of my cutting with shortcuts. So I'm going to press the shortcut for cutting and that is K and that made a cut across both of these strips at the exact same frame. And let me uh, show you how you can grab now. And the G button is the grab button, so I'm going to leave these selected and hit my G button. Now, the way that Blender works is we can constrain to the Y axis or the X axis when we're moving by simply hitting the Y button after grabbing and pulling up. And you'll notice that when I hit that Y button, if I go left and right with my mouse cursor, it won't go left or right. It stays on the same frame, but takes it to a different channel. And I'm gonna click and drop this. And if I hit G again to grab, it grabs both of the highlighted strips, and I hit X, and it will only go left and right. It will not go up and down even though I am uh, going up and down with my mouse. So it's just nice to know, I'm gonna hit escape to return that to where it was. 
Uh, if you don't left click to drop it and you hit escape, it will just undo. So I have done a standard cut with a K, uh, which I said you can also get in the context menu. Uh, and the thing that you need to know about strips is that a cut is going to contain the entire video that it was cut from. It, is, it has basically just muted out everything um, past the cut uh, playhead uh, position. So you could actually restore, if I deleted both of these, for example, uh, I could restore the entire video by grabbing these handles. I, I'm using shift to uh, grab them both. You can see that they're that, that when, I, when I select a, um, a strip on its own, the handles aren't lit up in any way. But when I hit the handle itself right there, I can hit my G button and I can pull to the right. And you'll notice if I jump ahead that the video is all still here. Now, let's look at a hold cut. Uh, what I'm going to do is just jump back over here. And I am go they're all, the strips are still highlighted, so I can actually uh, still cut them. I'm going to do Shift K to make a cut, and I'm going to delete everything after the playhead there. And let's drag the uh, the handle, the right handle of this strip, to the right. And look, it doesn't seem to have any content in it, and that's because what it's actually doing is just holding the frame that it was cut from. This is how we do a freeze frame in Blender. So that's the difference between a standard cut and a hold cut. Now, let me show you something else when it comes to the view. I'm going to use the universal undo shortcut. It works in just about every program, which is Control Z. If you just keep hitting Control Z, you can undo everything that you've done. I'm going to go back as far as I can, all the way to the beginning. Look at that. We're back to where we were when we started. I'm going to unselect everything. Now, uh, I showed you guys how you can use the home key to zoom out and see all the strips end to end. Other things you can do with the view are on the number pad. So I've shown you that you can scroll up and down with your mouse wheel. But if you have a number pad, you can also uh, zoom in and zoom out using the plus and minus keys on your number pad. And let me actually make a couple cuts here just to show, demonstrate something else. I'm going to make a cut. Uh, with a K, it doesn't really matter <laughs> when I do it here. I'm going to select uh, just this one cut, and I'm going to hit the period uh, key on my number pad. Uh, it may also be called the delete key on your number pad, but from, uh, it's next to the zero on the number pad. And what that does is it zooms the, uh, the selection so that we can see the entirety of whatever strips we have selected. So if I hit that, that period key, it zooms that. And if I hit it, I'm selecting just this one over here. It zooms that. Now I will show you the zero button on your number pad. When you hit that, what it does is it centers the playhead on the view. So if I move the playhead over here and I hit my zero key, it centers it no matter where I'm at. I'm at. So those are some uh, nice ways to be able to jump around your view very quickly. I think that I have pretty much covered uh, uh, enough of the functionality of the view and grabbing and cutting today. So I'll see you guys in the next video.